Hey, how's everybody doing today? JP, JP's Tech, Gaming, and all that fun stuff. Anyways, I wanted to do a video today because it took my system apart, long story short, just cleaned it out, and I usually reinstall my windows maybe once or twice a year just to get things up and running nice and straight and i started poking around dcs once i got everything installed and i have the dcs steam version is what i normally use so i noticed when i went into steam and i started up the game it gave you a standard and a multi-threading version so i started wondering if the icon that it put on my screen which is this one where you see my cursor going around over here kind of a silver grayish type color was running the multi-thread and it seems that it's not i went into the app dug around for a while <clears throat> excuse me and what i noticed is it's actually multi-thread is a totally different icon so long story short now if anybody wants to follow up on this video correct me if i'm wrong but from what I can see after looking at the EXE and everything, Steam puts the standard version on your desktop. So if you're starting it from a Stream Deck like I am, or if you're starting it by clicking on the icon, it seems you're getting the standard, not the multi-thread, which kind of surprised me. So I ended up, let me, let me open this up. I ended up opening my file explorer and I went to my C drive and I poked around under users where it normally says you go to users go to your name save your games and then you got dcs open beta and dcs there's no icons in there so i had to jump back to my c drive and i went to program files x86 open that up scrolled down found the steam open that scrolled down till i found steam apps double clicked on that and then i went through all of these folders right here and i ended up finding n the common DCS world. Of course, I play Quake Champions as well. After opening up the DCS world, I found a whole bunch of folders. So I noticed there's a bin and a bin dash MT. When I opened this up, it seemed to give me the same EXE that I was picking up with the, the icon on my desktop. So it seems when you go into Steam and you load it from there, you can select multi-threading, but you have to go back there and do it every time. Even when you, for me, even when I selected always, it still unchecked when I went back for some reason. Unless you want to go into Steam first and, and, and do that every time, that's the way you got to get to your multi-threading. So I ended up going to this bin, MT, and I found the icon. You can't drag this onto your desktop. You can probably create an icon and re rename the EXE if you want to type all the stuff in. But what I ended up doing was from there send and create desktop create shortcut so i clicked on that and i got let me close this out and i ended up seeing that this popped up this blue dark blue icon once i looked at this and i went to properties it clearly says right here the whole exe is listed in there all the way from common dcs world backslash bin dash multi-thread dcs exe now when i tried it it did look a little bit different a little bit smoother i don't think this is like night and day difference in the game itself it is smoother it's better and also the screen looked a little different i think things looked maybe a little bit i don't know stretched out a little bit more maybe it wasn't nothing bad it looked completely normal but it did look better so i poked around on the internet and there was a few other people on a few other sites that were talking about it in the ed forums and stuff most of them use the ed version of dcs world so the way they got the multi-threading version was completely different so anyways if you're a steam user and you want to be 100 percent guaranteed the way to do it is we'll go through it one more time real quick you're going to open this up your explorer click on your c drive program files x86 double click from there you're going to scroll down you're going to find your steam folder double click from the steam folder you're going to find steam apps all one word double click you're going to find another folder common double click dcs world double click and you can clearly notice there's a standard and there's a bin two bins this one's standard this one's multi-threading once again you open that up go down right click i right, go to show more send to desktop create shortcut and bingo it'll pop right up i dragged it right over put it on my stream deck fired it right up played around my settings a little bit 
and it looked good looked nice i hope this video helps if i'm wrong again i'm curious why the icon looks different so i am sure that i've been playing this for the last year or more using the icon that steam places the steam app places on your desktop and if that's the single not the multi threading i'm sure there's a lot of people out there doing the same thing so i hope you find this video if i'm right give me a thumbs up and a like if i'm wrong give me a thumbs up and a like but let me know but i'm almost 100 percent convinced that this is the way you have to get multi-threading all the time put it on your desktop and you're golden all right people everybody have a great day i got a nice video coming up on the new win wing pto number two the verbal is going I'm going back to the Win Wing. The thing is just too awesome looking. I like Verbal products. It's great, but it's great for generic stuff. But we're not going to get hung up on that subject. So this is how it's done. I hope it helps someone. Everybody, peace out.